have discussed the basic tools and equipment which is used in automotive workshop repair. This session we will identify the tools as well as equipment also. First of all, we have to know that what is tools. A tools is any instrument or simple piece of equipment that you hold in your hand and used to do a particular kind of work. For example, hammer, knife, screwdriver, etc. Our objectives are to identify and describe the type of common hand tools, to identify and describe use of holding equipment, identify and describe use to select specialty tools and also used to describe the safe use of tools. Tool rules. Before handling the tools, we have to know some rules. First, purchase quality tools. Second, keep tools organized. Third, keep tools clean. Fourth, use the right tools for the job. Some tips are given below the time spent maintaining your tools and toolbox is time well spent well organized tools will save time on each job and have to get more work done unorganized or poorly maintained tools will hurt your own the job performance toolbox organization previous slide we have explained some tips which is related to the toolbox organization. Always keep your tools in organized way in your toolbox. Related tools are normally kept in the same toolbox drawer. The lower roll around cabinet hold the bulky heavy tools. Commonly used tools are normally placed in the upper tool chest. The small carrying tools is for holding frequently used tools. So here is this toolbox. Uh, you should maintain your toolbox in properly in toolbox. Just so many uh, tray are there. In the first tray, yeah, there are so many uh, uh, ranges are there. Tools. As per basis of work, few type of tools using automotive workshop. Here are hand tools, measuring tools, cutting tools, power tools, lifting equipment, cleaning equipment, and last specialty tools. Most of the common tools for repairing are hammer, pliers, wire cutter, power drill, adjustable range, screwdriver. Hammers it is one of the most important tools in automotive workshop. Various types of hammer are used for operations that involve striking tools or parts. It is important to use the right hammer and to use it properly. The following are some general rules governing hammers. First, selected the right to right size hammer. If a large part is struck by a small hammer, the hammer can fly backward dangerously. If the hammer is too large, however, it may damage the part. Second, always check the hammer head is tight on the handle. If not, the head may fly off and cause injury or damage.
method never hit a hand hardened part with a steel hammer metal chip me fly off. Use a brass or lead hammer. Fourth, grab the hammer near the end of the handle and strike it part. Ball pin hammer. It is the most common type of hammer used in automotive work. It is a flat face for general striking. Slaze hammer. It's a very large head. It is usually the heaviest hammer and produce a powerful blow. The slaze hammer is sometimes used to free frost part. Brass or lead hammer. It has a soft heavy head and is useful when scaring the surface of a part must be avoided. Plastic hammer. It's a light and has a soft head. It is used where a light blow are needed to previous part breakage or damage to surface on small and delicate parts. Rubber mallet. A rubber mallet has a head made soft rubber. It, is, it will rebound or bounce upon striking and it, it is not effective on solid metal part. Dead blow hammer has a plastic coated metal face and is filled with small metal ball called lead shot. The extra weight prevents rebound of hammer when strike. This is all pin hammer. It is generally this hammer is used in most of the automotive workshop or repairing tools. This one is mallet. This is soft hammer. It will use Sophisticated job. It's a basically holding device. One of the common tools in automotive workshop. Plier are used to grip art and hold and in various parts. Different plier are helpful for different situations. Here the picture there are so many plier are seen. A combination plier or slip joint plier. This is the most common plier used in automotive section. Slip joint allow the jaw to be adjusted to grip the different size part. B. Rib joint plier or channel lock plier. You may also call it water pump plier. So open extra wedge for holding and very large object. C. It's a needle nose plier. This is exactly for holding extremely small part or reaching into high restricted area. D. Diagonal cutting plier. It is one of the most common used in cutting plier. The jaw shape allows the cutting plus with a surface. This one is also a holding device and it's called locking plier or vice grip. And last is snap ring plier. It has sharp point tip for installing and removing the special clip called snap ring. First of all, this is combination plier. They all lineman plier. It, it works for holding and cutting also. This is nose plier. It is also a holding tool. This one is knife or it is outer, outer knife and this is inner knife. Okay. Or circling, you may call it also circling. Okay. This is called vice grip plier. This is also a holding, portable holding tool. Okay. This is a wear cutter. This is also used for cutting wear. Okay. And this is the wheel balancing hammer. Or wheel balancing hammer, it will use when it will use in any type of wheel balancing process, this hammer will use. Here is the some pictures that is 
this one is combination plier or lineman pliers this is needle nose plier this is groove plier or channel lock plier and last is vice grip or locking plier screwdriver it is one of the most common tools used in any mechanical workshop screwdriver are used to remove or install screws they come in many shapes and sizes a standard screwdriver has a single blade that fit into a slot in the screw head a phillips screwdriver has two crossing blade that fit into a star shaped screw slot a red and french screwdriver has similar to a phillips but has slightly different tip shape trox and clutch head are specially type of screwdrivers identify its screwdrivers picture a slotted tip screwdriver picture b phillips screwdriver picture c red or french screwdriver d trox screwdriver and last one is clutch head screwdriver some other screwdriver which i have shown in the picture that is offset screwdriver and stubby screwdriver offset and stubby screwdriver has good i type place for example stubby screwdriver is neat for loosening screw inside the groove box starting screw hold the screw securely until started in its hold they prevent screw from being drop or lost this one is starting screwdriver previously we, uh, we have explained some different type of screwdriver so now we are showing some screwdriver okay now this is this flat screwdriver that is flat head of slotted screwdriver this section is flat okay so this is is called flat head screwdriver or socket screwdriver and this one is phillips screwdriver this one this section is is two two slot this one this slot and this slot those are this is called star head screwdriver or phillips screwdriver range ranges are used to install and remove nut and bolt range size is determined by measuring across the range jaws ranges are come in both conventional and metric size some rules are there in using range first always select the right side range it must fit the bolt head snugly a loosen fitting range will round up the corner of the bolt head second never hammer on the standard range to break loose a bolt use a longer range with a more leverage or a special slug range a slug range is designed to be used with a hammer when possible pull on the range then if the range slip you are less likely to hurt your hand never use a steel bar or pipe to increase the length of a range or leverage excess force can bend or break the range here is this picture some range are there picture a that is, this is open end range it has open jaws both end each end is different size and set an angle box end range box end range are commonly close head on both side combination range it has one side is close head and another side is open head both end are usually same size d line range a line range also called tubing range 
it's a box entry with a small opening or split in the jaw a opening or allow the ray to be slip over the fill line brake line or power steering line and onto the fitting nut socket range the socket range is a cylinder shaped box end tool for removing or installing bolt and nuts one end fit over the fastener the other end has a square hole that fit on a handle used for turning here is this picture this one is standard socket and this one is deep well socket socket drive size a socket drive size is the size of square opening for the handle picture shown upper part is socket point there are so many types 4 point 8 point 6 point 12 point and lower part is socket drive size where the handle is fastening there are this also has so many types that is half inch 3/8 inch 1/4 inch 3/8 inch half inch and 3/4 inch uh, those are the socket okay see the socket the diam it will the diameter of the socket which is denoted by 24 mm that means the all type of all our sockets are uh, getting some number this one is 24 mm that means 24 mm bolt you can use it giving the uh, see this socket the upper point is upper section is socket point and the lower point where is that where is the handle is uh, aligned this is called socket drive okay the this is t handle when we insert the socket drive how it insert let just check okay extension extension are used between socket and its handle they allow the handle to be placed further from the workpiece giving you room to swing the handle and turn it faster a universal joint is a swivel that let the socket range reach around structure it is used between the socket and drive handle with or without an extension here is this picture this is extension and the picture this is extension which is connect to the speed handle this is this picture is universal joint here is the picture the universal joint with extension which is connect to the ratchet this is a small extension acha this one is ratchet acha this one is dip this is called you may call dip socket okay this is universal socket okay acha and all our sockets acha this is also the socket bit this is small ratchet at there also socket hand in the socket handle and Uh, extensions all are small extension are there including including universal socket also okay now uh, we have been i am showing how it works this is the uh, ratchet and uh, the uh, the bottom section uh, you, you just press it up and and insert it okay now this is the extension already connected then we connect socket here okay, here is this trigger if you uh, take the this side the the rotation will be anti clockwise see this is this is anti clockwise and we we when you when the trigger is this side the rotation is clockwise that means when you tighten the nut it will clock from clockwise direction when we when we unlock the nut it automatically rotate anti clockwise socket handles fit into the square opening in the top of the socket here the some pictures of the socket handles picture a is called ratchet it is the most common type of 
tools is used in automotive workshop picture b is a flex or breaker bar it is the most powerful and strongest socket handle speed handle and it is the fastest handle to operate the socket handle picture d it's a t handle picture e is the torque wrench it is the most important tool used in automotive workshop when tightening the nut in specific torque this device has been used and this is torque wrench this is half inch 40 to 200 newton meter the range is 40 to 200 meter i open it this is torque wrench made by japan i am showing the process this knob is the, this is locking position this is unlocking position when you up when you shift here this is lock and when you shift here this is unlock here is this marking it is newton meter that is force meet the force unit is newton meter and another force unit is foot pound in india they are used in newton meter and outside india it is foot pound now suppose i have to mark on 40 newton meter then what happen i am just rotate it from here is this line i am the zero marking line and here is this this center line and zero marking line should be coincide then you rotate clockwise and and the 40 40 mark where which line is mark coincide see this is 40 newton meter where you have mark it then you have to lock it when i lock it that means the 40 newton meter force are selected now we, we can tighten the nut not more than 40 it will, it will 40 meter, 40 newton meter marking tools scriber here is this picture single point pocket type the single point and last one is bend point straight point type chisel and punches chisel are for cutting of damages or badly rusted nut bolt and rivet heads they are various chisel shape use common sense when selecting a chisel shape punches also come in several configuration a center punch is frequently used to start a hole before drilling the indention made by a center punch will keep a drill bit from moving when the first starting to drill chisel and punch design here is this picture there are so many chisel and punch design are there picture a flat chisel picture b kept chisel picture c round nose chisel d diamond point chisel e chisel or punch holder f center punch g pin punch h long tapered punch and last one is starting punch files it is also the cutting tools files remove bars nick and sharp edges and perform the other smooth operation they are useful when only a small amount of material must be removed the file is classified by its length shape and cutting surface generally a coarse file with a large cutting edge should be used on soft material such as plastic brass and aluminium a fine file with small cutting edge is needed to produce a smoother surface and it cut hard harder material like cast iron or steel here is some picture some files are there single cut files this one is flat double cut uh, double cut files this one is half round file this one is three corner file or triangular file and last one is round file or circular file 
file safety rules never use a file without a handle securely attached if the file pointed tongue is not covered by a handle it can punch your hand or wrist to prevent undue file wear apply pressure only on the forward stroke when filing place one hand on the handle and the other hand on the file tip do not file too rapidly if the file become clogged clean it properly with the steel brush never hammer on the file because it is a brittle material and it will break easily adjustable range it has provision for adjusting the opening for different size nut or bolt head length of blade length of range will correspond with jaw capacity do not use where component are tight and will require sizable force to break them free unless jaw is tightened to nut etc there is a potential of slipping on fastener which will usually damage fastener do not use on brass or soft material for light load can be used in either direction greater strength is with pressure being applied to side of range with flex jaw adjustment mechanism should be clean periodically and lightly oiled here is this picture this is uh, this is called slide range or adjustable range this is called slide range okay so how it work you also this one this is the control uh, worms worm worm wheel which is rotate and it is it will be adjust automatically pipe range used for turning pipe and other round object teeth on the jaw will dig into the metal being tightened and may damage it do not use pipe ring to turn a bolt or a nut unless the component is already damaged do not use on hardened surface meat dull or chip the jaw teeth there is this picture this is called pipe ring or monkey ring this one is pipe wrench or you can say monkey wrench what happen it is also adjustable okay you can you can grab any any dimension of any any type of dimension of uh, shaft also bearing puller used to pulling gear bearing and bushing on the shaft or the motor or generator this one is gear puller and this one is bearing puller axle cut heavy cable pipe and other metal holding tools a vise is used to hold part during cutting drilling hammering and pressing operation this mounted on a workbench avoid clamping a smooth machine parts in the uncovered jaws of a vise vise cap or wood block should be used when mounting precision part in a vise some rules given below never hammer on a vise handle to tighten or loosen the vise keep moving the moving parts of the vice clean and oil wear safety glasses when using a vice be careful not to damage part in the jaws of the vice use vice cap when a precision part is held in a vice measuring tool during any engineering work some measuring tools has to be needed tape measure plastic or metal case appropriate for general scenic measuring tri square this one is tri square 
used as a guide of marking 90 degree angle. This one is combination square used for marking 45 and 90 degree angle and this one is bevel protector adjustable and used for making 0 to 90 degree angle. Measuring tools, telescopic gauge, transfer distance from parts to measurement tools, dial caliper, measure inside, outside and depth of parts, tachometer, it is one of the device to measure and measure the speed of any rotating item like engine speed, ruler, measure linear distance. Here, that is tape, okay, that is measuring tape. Uh, this is uh, this is five meter measuring tip, okay. And this one uh, this one is this one is scale, okay. Steel rule, which is called steel rule. This is also the measuring tool. Okay. Uh, like uh, this is uh, this is a measuring for measuring tube. Uh, any type of liquid you can measure it. There are some measures are there. All are denoted by millimeter, okay. okay. And another, this is this is a spring. Uh, this is a spring lifter or uh, spring gauge. You can show also spring gauge. It is also the you can you can you can, you can take a measure for load. Okay, the, this total total uh, load is 12 kg. That means up to 12 kg you can measure. Okay. Other measuring tools. Inside micrometer is used to measure the larger internal dimension. Inside micrometer can measure the internal dia of hole. Depth micrometer it is also measure the depth of internal slot or groove. Board dial indicator. This tool is actually measure the dimension of any hole. Can be scale, dial or digital type instrument. Digital micrometer. It is same as outside micrometer, break drum micrometer. This is used to measure the inside dia of break drum. And last one is straight edge. It is used to check the thickness of a surface. So the measuring tools. Okay. This is inside caliper. This is also the measuring tool. And this is outside caliper. How could how could I operate? Please open the knob and it will automatically open and measure the linear length okay. okay power tools most of the automotive workshops are using power tools most of the power tools are operated by electrically some power tools are operated by high pressure air that means pneumatic tool and some power tools are operated by hydraulically so here is some power tools are there this one is impact range it is operated by electrically or pneumatically portable electric drill and this one is cup saw cup saw and this one is circular saw and last one is this grinder that is portable grinder other miscellaneous tools first one pin stick is used for cutting sheet metal chipping hammer chipping hammer is used to remove of slag after arc welding and grease gun it is the most common tools used in workshop used for lubricating battery booster cable it is, it is important tools to provide enough power to jump start the vehicle Hydrometer. There is one type of instrument to measure the specific gravity of any liquid. Last one is wear blue to clean the dirt metal. Drill. This one is drill bit. Drill bit or cutting tool used to remove material to create hole. Drill bit comes in many sizes and shape and can create a different kind of hole in any different materials. Wheel ring it is used to remove the wheel nut. This wheel ring and this is also wheel ring. Basically two types of wheel rings we have been used. Okay. How it's work? This is basically it will open the nut from wheel. Okay. Suppose 
this is the wheel this will go go that those nut if i cut this is the process then when it is engage it and you can rotate clockwise okay and if it will be rotated clockwise the no nut will be locked and it will be if i rotate anti clockwise the nut will automatically open okay this is the another process this one this is the process and if i rotate clockwise the nut will the nut is closed and if i rotate anti clockwise the wheel nut is open this is also a special tool name is ring compressor here is the ring compressor and this is the and this key okay how it is used it it will insert here and and rotate it when you rotate it automatically compress and when you release this trigger some gears are there when you release this trigger is press and automatically you will rotate and the same the circular section is automatically expand this is the process for ring compression this is the ring expander this is the ring expander here is the ring is inserted here and when we press it the ring will automatically expand and when we release uh, re re regain his original position portable wheel jack this is the total uh, the capacity is 2 ton okay okay then and this is the jack handle how it works uh, here is this pin when there is a one way valve when i when i lock it then automatically uh, the circuit will close internal circuit will close now insert the handle and press it sequentially automatically see the automatically the jack will upward position this is also a lifting device and is a mechanical device which is mechanically operated called screw jack okay the capacity is in around 2 ton also okay this is rotated and i automatically the jack will go upward side now again uh, this is the two post lift two post lift this is also a lifting device now i am showing how it works there is a lifting switch is operated by electrically and hydraulically also both so this one is the main switch okay and uh, this is electrical motor driving the hydraulic pump this is a reservoir hydraulic reservoir okay these are the lifter arms so four arms are there one is two arms here and two arms there okay now uh, you hold it properly the, the arm is properly placed under the car frame okay then we will on the switch we will automatically upward position So the four lifting points are there. It is here is this cable. When when the vehicle is comes down, the process is to pull the pull the chain, pull the pull the wire, and also pull the wire. Then press it, press it the levers. 
the lift will automatically come down.